Good morning and welcome to Ohio. This is Wendy Hill Kennel and we are a gloomy day in Ohio and it's raining and it's a nice rain since we live in farm country. This is really a great rain for the fields. My garden which consists of two tomato plants and two zucchinis this year because I just don't have time. So and some flowers. That's my whole garden. <coughs> but I have to make zucchini bread. So this is Dreamers Kids. I'm really excited to tell you that they pretty much have their eyes open. It is going to be really sad to see Dreamer leave since this is her last litter. And I really don't plan on... Um, I've kept thinking if I'm going to fudge back and not let her go and just keep her. I love Dreamer. She's my last, my last connection to my standard schnauzers I used to have. Um, so... Um, these guys are doing really good. They are fatter than fat. Um, and I know we've got eyes, some of them have eyes open in here. Oh, come up here, Tubbo. They are chubs, they are chubs. So this one has its eyes open. And this one is microchip number, oh, 8262. And she is just as fat as can fat can be. She's almost too big to get in one hand. So this is going to be a really nice size litter. They are just chubs, that's for sure. I have one of Dreamer's litter uh, that's from her last litter, and we kept one. Well, actually, we kept two. And um, she says, "Oh, this one we missed. We got to do hers too." Uh, I was feeling fingernails. Since her eyes are open, we got to watch them. They don't catch it in each other's eyes. Your back ones aren't long, just your fronts. But she's doing really good. She's starting to change. You can see that coming underneath of there. So I'm pretty sure she's gonna turn salt and pepper. And when she does, the only thing left black will be down her back and that's the last thing to turn. But they turn from their belly up and then you can see when I hit the black, it's still, well, I'm still going the wrong way. The black is still all black. There's a straight line of black up her back. But she is really, I bet she's over two pounds. Oh, don't, okay. There we go. I had a brain gap and turned it off. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Shh, hide your eyes. All right, ready? Here we go, drum roll. Oh, almost, one pound, 14.6. For two week old babies, that's big. I know, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you. All right, this is the only male in the litter. Now, if I wanted females, since I didn't keep anything this time. Next time, if I did keep her and breed her for schnauzers, I'd get all males. But this time we got one male. 8230 is his chip number, and he's gonna be really fancy. He's got really pretty coloring. Coat is really gonna be nice when he gets it in. It's just starting to come. Turn around, hide your face. There you go. There you go. I know, you're a good boy. You got your eyes open? Yeah. Not completely wide, wide yet, but they're open. See, they're open. All right, they're gonna get wormed today. Probably get a couple, oh, one pound 14.2. We're almost the same. She's a little bit bigger than the boy, just by not enough to even, I think you could spit on that and probably bring it up to the weight it needs. But they're almost identical. All right, let's do the black one. You're a chunk too. Yes, you're a big girl. You're gonna be looking like your mommy. Got eyes open. Yep, your eyes are clear open. Dreamer is such an awesome dog. Now don't get me wrong, if you came now and saw her while she had her babies, she would freeze, lower her head, and look at you over her eyebrows. <clears throat> and I would tell you not to get any closer to her kennel because she's gonna if she could say, go ahead and make my day, she would, because she is not a friendly person when she has babies. <clears throat> she is a true mother tiger. Two pounds, 0 0.4 ounces is what she weighs today. So right now, you're the winner. So far, you're the winner. You were big. I knew you were big when you were born. All right, let's put you down. Where are you going? No, crawl this way. Turn around. Turn around. All right, I knew somebody. Okay, guys, don't put your face in it. Somebody potty down there. Thank goodness they have hard stool. 
I don't know who popped me, but somebody did. I smelled it, but I couldn't see it. I don't know. This is like such a quandary. I'm afraid I'm gonna pick it up and somebody's gonna poop on me, which is, won't be the first time, won't be the last time. All right, uh, 8231 is her microchip number. And, oh, I know it. And the left eye, this eye on this side has a tiny, tiny little shiny spot. So they're just starting to open. But she's doing really good. She's got really pretty color. I'm gonna try not to swing her around too much and get too upset. Oh, I know. One pound, 15, six. Oh my goodness sake, it's okay. Shh. There you go. There you go, I know. It's a scary world when those eyes open, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, keep your face hidden. I'm gonna lay you down here with the other one. You can snuggle right in against my leg and you don't have to look. Just stay right there. No, you're not going to? All right. Now, the yin yang. Boy, I'll tell you how, I cannot tell you how hard it was not to keep this puppy. Uh, everybody knows I'm a Merle fan and to get a yin yang that's this nice of a yin yang, it was all I could do to say no. I really, really thought about it. For a couple days before I put him on, this was the one I was keeping. 8229. Um, and not because she's any better than any of the rest of them, but it's that yin yang face. Because I, if I kept a yin yang to breed, I would get a lot of yin yang babies. But I just decided to hold and have a little bit of a refrain and not do it. Can't keep them all. Although sometimes I'd like to. Um, so she is 8229. She's not as heavy as the rest of them. I think she's gonna be probably the lightest in the litter. Yep, one pound, 13 ounces today. So that's the crew. We got peepers open. Nope, not, mm -hmm. yeah, this one on this side is. Okay. No, this one's not open. Nope, it's not open. It's not open, look at it. It's not. All right, when I get off here, I have to prove to her it's not open. All right, but this eye is open. So anyway, they're doing really good, uh, nice and fat, no issues. Uh, they're gonna get worm today and they'll get a bath on Monday again. Well, on Monday, not again. Um, depends, if Brittany's in here tomorrow, we'll probably give them a bath tomorrow once all their eyes get open completely. So I hope you have a good week. Uh, they're not doing a whole lot yet, but it's exciting to see the progress they've made so far. So you guys have a great week. Uh, if you have any questions about them at all, please give me a call and um, we'll get you new videos next week and you guys have a great week and a safe one.